okay let's get started uh, this time uh, we want to test the inspection uh, inspection is already done so we'll do another test of uh, the scenario would be a standard receipt this time so let's go ahead and open the application sorry PO is already created so we can go straight away to inbound number one then receiving number two then PO 6042 is the PO number I can do the line number there's only one line uh, this is uh, let's say the standard receipt so we'll do try control G still getting the long number so we'll avoid this by changing to A101 go to Bangalore quantity this time we can put 12 receipt number 3 generated we can provide other details and click the done button transaction is successful we'll go back to this time there is no need to do inspection go to task manual task and then move move any LPN provide that LPN drop it's suggesting for bulk confirm and drop full LPN so this task is complete so this is basically demonstrate the two-step process of standard receipt routing so I'm going to note all of these transaction was a101 receipt number was 312 quantity so this comp this provides you the standard receipt scenario but all of uh, both actually they also deliver in bulk because that's the rule that's how the rule is set up so ru rule is helping to pick which sub inventory and which locator it should be stored so this complete the inspection part and the next video will do the direct receipt so insert a row below next video will do direct Thank you for watching and we'll stay tuned for the next video.